I think every actor who's played him must have thought, is he already suffering from some type of breakdown? And is he aware of it? And the Lear that I play, I think, is aware. I think he's dividing the kingdom because he knows his powers are failing. Um, and the irrational uh, anger is part of the, the frightening symptoms of the disease that he can recognise, uh, which is why he, when he finally mentions the word mad, when he says to the fool, oh, let me not be mad, it's the first time he's said it, but he's been thinking of it for a long time. I haven't known a Shakespeare part that I've done that has so many unfinished thoughts, unfinished sentences. And he does it again and again and again. And it's very odd. <laughs> and I suppose you could play it as, as simply being too angry to even get the words out. But it seems to me that it could be he literally can't find the words anymore. And he says, I, I will have such revenges on you both that all the world shall... I will do such things what they are, yet I know not, but they shall be the terrors of the earth. And I think, oh, that's a man struggling for thought, struggling for words. There's a couple of moments in the last scene where he seems to be, again, this goes in and out with me about whether he's actually hallucinating, whether he's actually, generally, he puts a feather to Cordelia's mouth to see if she's still breathing, whether he really believes that, whether he doesn't. Actually, for most of that scene, uh, I, I am playing him absolutely compass mentis. And the very famous final line, look there, look there, which are very often played as, as um, hallucinogenic, you know. Um, and that's absolutely valid. I suddenly, just in rehearsal, decided to play it as if it's about her corpse, you know. So he's probably a saner at the end than, than I anticipated.